about half the people on the globe drink or use groundwater in one way or another, so it's a very important resource. Gradually, the resource is becoming increasingly contaminated. If there was a high awareness of what needs to be done, people would be doing it. The problem is the translation from what we, the scientific community, that happens to know what's going on and whatever the issue is. How do you translate that into awareness at a higher level? If in fact we're going to try and minimize groundwater contamination so that future generations have clean water, we're going to have to have our governments do a much more serious job of protection. One of my main areas of research has been better groundwater monitoring and broadcasting the nature of groundwater contamination. In the early 1980s, I began to research with my colleagues the effects of chlorinated solvents on groundwater. Chlorinated solvents are used everywhere in manufacturing, and uh, compounds such as trichloroethylene, an organic chemical, is now found in almost all industrial areas. So my early research then helped uh, rapidly bring awareness to that. In the United States and Canada, governments adapted by how they view the problem. First of all, recognizing that it is a problem. One of the reasons why I'm very pleased to receive the prize is that the attention that this will get, I hope, will allow me to push harder on these issues.